Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Midwest Smelters. Today, well, let's back up. I was asked to make a video of how to get, or how to pull the copper out of a stator after I'm done with that. And uh, I've only got one ready to do that to. I'll turn around here. And that's this one. It's not a very big stator, guys. That probably came out of a five horse motor or something like that. There's a aerosol can of ether to kind of compare it to. So it still probably weighs 20 pounds, whatever, you know, it's still pretty heavy, but yeah. back around here. Look at that guys. There's the new Weldon car as uh, Austin Ross says. But anyway, guys, we did a video about that. Um, wasn't a very popular video. So if you just missed it or whatever, just go back three, four or five videos ago and uh, please watch that. Uh, it's a pretty decent video. There's some cool stuff coming up. And tomorrow, which is Sunday, I have to be, well, I have an appointment at 10 o'clock with a guy and uh, to go look at something. And just maybe we'll get it bought and uh, we'll make a video about that too. So guys, without further ado, I'm gonna get started on this and show you guys how to do it. And uh, here we go. All right guys, so, the first thing I'm going to do is I got my tools out and there's no um, rhyme or reason to what tools you use. Every motor is different. Everyone's going to come out easier with different tools. But I start with a screwdriver, a couple different pry bars, and then a pair of needle nose pliers to have a set of cutters. And as you can see, I have melted all the <coughs> um, varnish off of this. This will help it pull out a lot easier. Um, Project Shop Florida, got to give that guy a shout out. He's got way more subscribers to me, but go check out his uh, channel if you don't already. He's trying to uh, get into stator wrecking, as he calls it. He's got a, a setup that's a work in progress. It'll probably take him a little time to get, get it perfected, but he's on the right track. I wish I had the setup that he did for it. Um, but yeah, he's getting there. But enough about that. You want to know how I do it, this is how I do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started here. And uh, it's still got these uh, this insulation, this fiberglass insulation crap. Uh, I just cut it off right out of the gate. And then I put it in a bucket and uh, deal with it later. Yeah, there's still a little bit of copper in here, not much. These cutters aren't very good, uh, by the way. I think I've used them too much. But uh, yeah, you just get these off, set them to the side. Or if the end will just pull off of the short ones and do that, then you ain't got to mess with it later. You done got it done. But guys, I don't care on the size of the motor. Uh, I'll do them all. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. I think that one might pull off. Nope. This thing's going to fall apart, guys. It's already trying to pull the copper out. Anyway. I'll do the big ones, I'll do the small ones. Copper's copper. It does not matter. Sometimes it's good to break it up. Like sometimes I'll get tired of doing the big ones for a while and then I'll switch over and go do some small ones. Uh, the big ones will wear you out just because how heavy everything is. But then on, a, <clears throat> then on the flip side, you want it to be heavy because that's where the money's at. I mean, we sell by weight, so. Catch 22 there, guys. If I had a shop crane, or a, even a cherry picker, I should go buy one. They're not that expensive. I just hate it being in my way all the time whenever I'm not using it. But uh, that would be fantastic. Or, guys, <clears throat> once we get We've been monetized, guys, okay? Uh, the payment process is kind of challenging on YouTube, so it might take a while before I get any money. But as of right now, I've made like $20 off the past, I don't know, five or six videos, which isn't a whole lot, but I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, like I said, I was doing this before I got monetized, and I'm going to keep doing it no matter what happens. But just kind of letting you guys in what's going on there. But what I was trying to say, I guess, is if we make enough money off of YouTube here, 
then I'm going to finish the other shop out back in the corner. Um, the frame's there, the metal's on it, the doors are on it, everything's there, but I need to concrete the floor and uh, give it its own electric service. And then we'll be ready to make videos out there. It's not a ton bigger than this building. I think this one's a <clears throat> like a, what is it, 22? Or 20, no, it's 24 by 24, I think. Or 24 by 28, I can't remember. But guys, the new shop, or the other building, is 24 by 40, so that's still a lot more room. So anyway, guys, let's get back to this. So what you do is you just pick a point on this motor to where to start. But whenever I was pulling the speed wire up, this one, this already popped up. So that's where we're gonna start. Usually I start around the outside edge and work in, but Ben's this one's already wanting to pull out. I'm gonna start here. Hey guys, it's just this simple. Real time. I didn't do any camera tricks, uh, nothing. It's just the way it happens. Sometimes you'll get lucky. Sometimes they'll fight you. I mean, it's, it's just a roll of the dice. I'm gonna get my bucket over here. I'm not gonna weigh this stuff because it doesn't really matter, but uh, I'm gonna get my bucket. <clears throat> my copper bucket and then I'll just throw this stuff right in right in it so here's there's not another one that's pulling up on the inside so uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, get some of these stragglers picked up I'm going to go ahead and start on the outside and then work my way in but I, it doesn't even look like I'm going to need very many tools for this because it's just wanting to fall apart right now so just get you a starting point. You know, I could probably about do this whole motor at one go, it looks like, for the rest of it. So that's what we're gonna do. So you just kind of work your way around, stick your flat screwdriver, make sure it's beefy, because sometimes you gotta pry pretty hard. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're just gonna be able to shake it out now. And then some of the plates came off with it, no big deal. Shake them out too. When you heat it up, sometimes the glue or whatever this, however these plates are stuck together, wants to kind of come loose on you. No big deal, guys. That'll still go for uh, short iron because there's enough of them there. It's still half inch, three quarters thick, whatever. And then the bottom's still all together. So uh, what I do is I just kind of take these like this, make them kind of compact. Just, that way I can get more in the bucket. It's just a better thing for me. You guys can just throw them in there and step on them or whatever you want to do. But I try to get all I can get in there. That way I just maximize the room in the shop because I store all my copper in the shop and keep it locked up. I mean, I live in a small town. I'm not saying anybody would come steal it, but there's always that chance, so... And even though it's locked up, I guess somebody could still come steal it if they wanted it bad enough. I was always told a lock only keeps the honest man honest. I believe there's some truth in that. And then, I don't know if you, how you guys do it, but I always go around, because it always some breaks off of it. It's inevitable, it's gonna happen. I always go around and I pick up all my stragglers and put it in the bucket. Because if it makes it to the scale, then you're gonna get paid for it. If you're at a decent scrap yard, their, their scales, their non-fair scales will bake, break on a pound, not every 20. Because I think if you if you go to a scrap yard and they weigh you on a truck scale, you're, you're gonna lose money. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Because uh, I believe a scrapyard is kind of like a casino. Uh, the house never loses, <laughs> if that makes sense. So uh, make sure make sure you go to some place that pays by the pound, doesn't weigh your non-ferrous on a truck scale. Like 20 pounds plus or minus isn't a big deal on like steel or something like that. Woohoo, might be five or $10. 
but 10 pounds of this is gonna be 30 30 dollars roughly or whatever so like i said just make sure you, you go to a place that their scale breaks by the pound keeps them honest and makes it fair for you so, all right guys a uh, little bit shorter video today i'm gonna apologize for that but that's what you guys wanted and uh i try to deliver um, if there's anything else you guys want to see, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And um, while you're at it, uh, scrap's been on the rise, copper's been kind of eh, just hanging out, but steel's been on the up and up. So uh, go ahead, post where you're from or what scrapyard you go to. You don't have to name the scrapyard, just the town that it's in and what they're paying for um, steel or whatever you want to tell me they're paying for. Um, my yard right here and close where I'm at is paying... I'm selling mostly number two copper, so that's what I'm going to say. We're, we're right at 293 295 somewhere in there. And steel just hit $200 a ton. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what a ton is in uh, kilograms for you guys that are out of the States or use the metric system. But uh, go ahead and post your prices, too. And uh, I'd like to hear from that. Guys, And the channel's been blowing up here the past couple weeks, and I'm loving it. We've got... 50 new subscribers this month. Uh, well, maybe not this month, within the last 30 days. And uh, I just want to thank you for that. And I want to thank everybody that's been around here since the start of the channel. And uh, we really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you like today's video, please smash that like button. It really helps the channel out. It doesn't cost you a thing and uh, helps us get out there. And uh, please leave a comment, good or bad. Uh, I got thick skin, guys. It just keeps helping the channel, good or bad. YouTube don't YouTube don't care. So uh, hit please subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll catch you on the next one.